Well, here at the official Idea City After Party, guests and presenters are hanging out, mingling and chatting about some of the highlights from this year's 13th season, including a woman who knows all about the birds and the bees, insect sexologist Marlene Zuck. She um, researches insect sex, and she says, as someone who works on sexual behavior in animals, I've grown used to getting a lot of off-the-wall questions. Topping the list is whether animals exhibit oral sex. <laughs> it turns out that people are more afraid of insects than they are of dying. At the same time, we're all really fascinated by insects. And Scientists have been using insects for centuries to try and understand the answers to life's biggest questions. And the reason I like studying them is something that I think is more profound, and that's that insects show us a different way of life. In a sense, they break all the rules that we have about the way we think things are supposed to work. And there's no place where that's clearer than in matters pertaining to sex. Once you understand about sex in insects, Sex in people just seems kind of stereotyped and pedestrian and boring. Mammals are just chumps when it comes to sperm competition. The real champions of sperm competition are the insects. There are some species of fruit flies that have individual sperm cells that are longer than their own bodies. Another place that insects really break the rules is when it comes to our preconceived notions about so-called natural biological sex roles. All worker honeybees, all of the bees you see flitting from flower to flower, gathering nectar, going back to the hive, all of them, all of them, every single one is a female. There are three classes of honeybees, the workers and the queens, which are both female, the queen does all the reproducing, and the drones, and the drones are male. They exist for a very short period of time. They leave the nest, they fly in search of a virgin queen to mate with. And I think the problem with the mistake about social insects is that if you ignore how different insects are from us, if you ignore that their societies are female dominated, it means that you're missing out on some of what's natural in life, and you're missing out on some of the possibilities. I think she did a really good job talking about it, uh, though I think there were people in the audience a little squeamish. Be sure to watch Ideas City on Vision TV and the brand new one. I'm one of the official after parties. I'm Darren Maharaj for Zoomer News.